here we are and after the brand new release of do they know it's christmas by the likes of one direction ed sheeran and co we're going to take you back to the 80s now with the original well anyway so now charlie <laughs> bootman your turn Absolute home outrage. or away oh it's a difficult one isn't it i mean if you think about it you're half the year half the year at uni half the year at home mm. It's a toss up. It's a real toss up, isn't it? I'm a bit too close. It's a bit of a toss up. Um, but I'm going to go for drum roll, please. Maybe a little bit of music creeping in. Crowd surfing. A bit of crowd from surfing. From Mr. Bootman. You never know. That's a massive shout. Well, do you know what? That's a t- that's a hashtag there. Crowd surf Bootman. Hashtag crowd surf Bootman. <laughs> if we get more than half a million, he's doing it. He's agreeing. He's nodding. I think it's official now. And uh, now I think that is official. If we, so get I'll tell you what, and get tweeting. If we can get Bootman half a million surfing. by five o- by five o'clock tonight, Charlie's going to crowd surf. That is massive, massive news. I think we've put him in it here. Yeah. It's a huge, huge bit of news. Bootman, are you going to be crowd surfing at Hoglands? Indeed, I am. <laughs> Okay, um, does Tom know what this is? Tom, sorry. Well, Tom, we Tom knows because he's sitting next we, to me. Uh, we all know. Tom and Charlie are ready for this news. Um, does Liam know this? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, all, the boys right, okay. all the boys he's are aware. Smoking is a this lot, he's been smoking a lot of crack. Is this is this this is big news? Isn't exclusive for us? Yeah. This okay, is, beware. This is exclu- we haven't told anyone yet. Before okay. We tell you. Okay, so go for it. We've been waiting for this. This is what we've been waiting for, and. Bet. But basically, yeah, we were, we were all at Nando's last night, and uh, we were having a conversation, and we were just discussing who. who <laughs> 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 now, picture of Steven Gerrard on the show. <laughs> we were just discussing. Right. We were just discussing who is. We were just discussing who is the strongest, strongest members of the group, and uh, Scott, no. basically, <laughs> we decided that, we decided that Louis out of all of us is the worst at singing <coughs> so we've kicked him out of the band and he's gone to join the Rixton <laughs> <laughs> crikey mate he's had a good day mate yeah so we got we got a new member now who's that he's got his first performance gonna gonna be live at Oglands <coughs> alright <laughs> right alright he's been he's been out of the music industry for a while Um. He's, he was made famous but I'm a celebrity it's Peter Andre. So this is a this is a brand new game show that we've uh, created ourselves this week. Um, it's to do with the January transfer market, boys. Um, I've got f- a list of five um, high-profile footballers here, and we're going to discuss whether we think they should go or or stay in January. <laughs> well, I, I haven't I those. haven't been I, I, unfortunately I haven't been watching it, and um, when I saw the lineup, I only really knew. Jimmy Bullard and and Tinchy Strider. So knowing that Jimmy Bullard's gone out, I'm I'm first. I'm glad that I'm not watching it. <laughs> this is a disgrace, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Tell me I only, only watched watched it last year for Ant and Deck and and Joey Essex. <laughs> Retora, um, also Scouse duo Stephen Gerrard and Jamie Carragher well, will be here. Wow. Also, we got Rob Beckett uh, back from the jungle. He's going to talk all things armor celebrity with us. That will be interesting. So, um, yeah, and also Little Mix will be back. Wow, what a show. What a show that Fantastic. sounds. So tune in then. Hashtag so. Santa Banter. So um, we want to know, I uh, did a tweet earlier about getting people to tweet in what their New Year's resolutions were. But before we do that, I want to know what both of your favourite Christmas presents were. Favourite Christmas presents? Yes. Okay. Well, um, my mother... Yes. No, or Santa. Oh, no. He's <laughs> he's ruined it for the young Santa. ones. Santa. Uh, Santa brought me... Santa Banner. Santa Banner. Oh. Forgot the go. Fanta again. Slyly put that in. Forgot like the Fanta. That. Um, yeah, uh, Santa brought me a, a, a nice pair of reindeer socks. A reindeer socks? Yes. Really? He was very generous this year. Really? I, I like that a lot. Did you? Yeah. Matt, go. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly oh. sorry. Um, what what, what? what, what did, have you done now? What I, I didn't... I didn't ask you um, yeah. what your favourite Christmas present was. Oh, that's nice of you. Um, well, I'm a nice guy. You, yeah, well, that's debatable, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh no, we d- Charlie's Charlie's definitely. Well, you got um, you got to number two, didn't you, on GQ Men of the Year? That was it. Just Brad, just Bradley Cooper to beat now. Yeah, but who's number one? Bradley Cooper. Are you serious? No, do do you, you really? Well, it was obviously me. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. He likes to buy sort of up and coming talent and then and then develop them into sort of world class centre off mm-hmm. like Laurent yeah. Koscielny. Just put that <laughs> there. So, what, so what are we going for, guys? Should he stay or should he go? I, I think he should go. He's been yeah. there long enough. Yeah, he should go. He's loved there, but he, he should go. We're going go. Should I stay or should I go? Um, I don't really know how to pronounce his first name. Okay. Um, but the second name is Levetsi. Ezekiel Lequezi. There's a new name for you. <laughs> Hit us up. Hashtag that, people. TD show, Dixon Show Weekly. Um, Lequezi. <laughs> Can you get me a lolly? Um, Please? Is it a vodka lolly? Vodka jellies? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know, but, but so, so I'm going to go on a night out and all I'm going to do is get Charlie a lolly. That's That can be your number one priority. For your night out, Lolly. I feel quite a lot of pressure now. I'm not going to lie to you because if you I don't, don't, you don't have to. I'm, I won't be disappointed, but you know, just be nice. Well, I, f- <laughs> I don't know. You know, my heart is beating. So never had a vodka lolly. You never had a vodka lolly. Have you had a vodka lolly? I've had I a haven't. vodka lolly. You've are had they a nice? They're alright. Like your jellies are nice. Are they? Yeah, they're not bad. Um. On to sport. Liverpool and Chelsea battled hard to come away with a one-one draw in the Capital One Cup semi-final first leg. Eden Hazard cool, coolly slotted a penalty midway through the first half after the Belgian was brought down in the box. Raheem Sterling equalised for the Reds with 20 minutes left to go to make the second leg at Stamford Bridge next week a mouth-watering tie. I think this is going to work. Ringing. Just ringing. Hello? Hello, is it just near the student union? Um, yeah, it's down, um, it's downstairs, yeah. Downstairs, uh, where am I going? Uh, downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. Have you gone down, have you gone downstairs? Um, I just went through the main entrance of the uni, so I'm next to the shop. Yeah. Um, I just go downstairs. Yeah. And then um, you'll go down the corridor, and there'll be like radio studios on your right. If you go, if you continue down, go around the corner, and then straight ahead is more. Can we? Can I just quickly mention the uh, Chelsea Bradford score? No, no, um, <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I don't think many people know on this show. Um, yeah, uh, listeners of the show um, uh, that um, Matt Clues, although uh, in the past we've uh, discussed him being a, a Gillingham fan, a die-hard Gillingham fan, uh, but he also uh, likes a little bit of Chelsea. And uh, <laughs> although they they are now heading to Wembley for the League Cup, they did lose against Bradford four <laughs> two. So as we were saying, Bradford are now playing Sunderland or Fulham. Yeah. That could have been you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Let someone else win it for once, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they were nominated with Dermot as well. Dermot's a shot. Dermot's a I'd like, still like to see Dermot win it. Nah, I'm not having him for five minutes, mate. <laughs> 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 Your Saturday night starts right, right here. here. <laughs> does, a, does an awful spin <laughs> and then points. Well, my Saturday night didn't start here. My Saturday night started like pretty early than that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if, when does your Saturday night start then, Oakley? Well, there's a few more programmes on before X Factor. Like, yeah. um, I don't know, what is? What is what's on before it? You might get the chase Saturday night the, special. The, uh, the ITV news and weather. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Then that's, that's where, where my Saturday night starts. <laughs> <laughs> then ITV you come out and do a little dance. Yeah. What, so you're saying you put the, the news on and you go, my Saturday night starts right, right here. here. Yeah. You come do out, do a little dance, yeah. do a bit of a shuffle. Do a spin it. in the living room. <laughs> a few, few sexy dances around you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, then they move off somewhere and they live in a cave somewhere and they come back every Saturday night. But anyway, yeah. Dermot. from the cave. Dermot. No. Good and goodbye. All right, hello, this is Charlie. And we have a new game show, guys. It's called Know Your Intros. 
<laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey is yeah. being released in the UK on Valentine's Day. Yeah. But which age certificate has it been given and why? PG. No. <laughs> <laughs> why has it been given a PG? I don't know. I reckon it's an 18 because apparently it's 20 minutes of uh, Sex sexual yeah. intercourse. That is that's, it. That's it's, pretty a, much. it's an 18 and erotic play. Erotic play. <laughs> uh, I think there could be one. There could be one. It depends. Right, I'm going. Okay, we we are halfway through, and the score game. scores are four one to Matt. What's the game called? Is what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, you in Joe Fever? Because he uh, last week you repeated it about five times. Yeah, <laughs> he just loves the name. How many Grammy awards did Sam Smith win? Oh, I know this. Yeah, because uh, I'm not happy about it. I'm glad you actually done this question. Oh, really? Because <laughs> you know. Because I uh, like. I'm not homosexual, but I do like a bit of Sam Smith. <laughs> so, he's, a, um, he's a great singer. How many is he win then? Quattro. Yeah, four. Well done. Let's go to the big game first. Shut up. <laughs> Let's not. Well, we well, don't know what I'm going to say you, first. Oh, I think you... Uh, okay, whatever. QPR, Neil Southampton. <laughs> 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 the big game. Uh, you did go for the big one first. Southampton 1 was the, the big game <laughs> of the week. Uh, I love this road. I went for 2-1. So I seeded in another cup upset on Sunday to beat Sunderland 2-0. Name two other teams they have be- beaten in recent seasons. Uh, Chelsea? Not this year. We're not talking about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not talking about Chelsea. In recent seasons? Well, yeah, you can say that, but I'm not accepting talking about Chelsea about losing to Bradford. So, with other, other teams. <laughs> oh, okay, um, Rotherham. You said other cup upsets. Uh, what, from Bradford? Yes. Uh, well, I know one, but I don't want to say it. Was it Liverpool? No. Nah. Nah. Arsenal. I, what was that? And that was, was they, that the score? They won 4 1. Oh, I put 2 1 Stoke. Yeah. <laughs> Man U 2, Burnley 1 is what I put. They won 3 1. I put I put 3 0 Man U. So you did alright there. Didn't do too bad. Um, but you haven't seen any of the films. I haven't seen any of them <laughs> nominated. But it could be a good one for those who have seen the films that have been nominated. Yeah, there's some in, there's some big films in there that I'd really like to see that I haven't had, uh, got around to seeing. So. What films would you like to see, Charlie? Uh, the, the Theory of Everything is uh, is nominated for Best Picture along with Whiplash. Um, with uh, It's got Miles Tenner in it. And Ooh. he, uh, yeah, I've been uh, wanting to see that for a while. Just haven't got round to it, Rory. Who <laughs> is really going to win it? Um, so, yeah, but, uh, but you know, Benedict's done Should well. Should put a bet on it? <laughs> Live yeah, on, on the mic. Live on the mic. Right. You're going for comeback, so I'll go for Redmayne. What are you right. doing, though? Best actor. 2000. 2000 yeah, well, best. no. What? Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I think I have to, I think I have to get if we're gonna do this we've gotta get got a picture at the moment. So um, are you are gonna oh, do a bet? Right, go on then. How much are we doing? I'm pretty broke at the moment, so Pot I'm of Pringles. The rest of the Pringles. Well, this, no, we'll I probably wait before we'll find out who wins. But yeah, Alright, a, a pot of Pringles. A pot of Pringles, there we go. What flavour? Uh whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, all right. Just whatever one you want. Alright. Okay. Probably so there we go. Texas barbecue right. sauce. It's official, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so who are we gone for? Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> and you've gone for Benedict. I have. <laughs> right then. He's gone for Combo <coughs> Uh Did he dance. throw up? Dance. He threw up. Oh. He threw up. He threw up at his audition. Complete guess that was. That was and, good. And he Massive got the part shout. well done to him. 